Tomorrow way too far away And we can get back yesterday But we young right now We got right now So get up right now Cause all we got is right now Tomorrow way too far away And we can get back yesterday But we young right now We got right now so get up. Happy Saturday um, didn't feel like vlogging earlier because I was just sleeping a lot. My lip is swollen. I always break out from something. Like, I, I'm highly allergic to everything. So, I never know what really triggers what makes my lips swell or break out in hives. So, I took a bandage route and I was sleepy all day. But, um, I just came back in from grocery shopping. As you can see, I took my weave out. <sighs> I got tired of it. So I'm going to wash my hair. All right, so I just finished doing my hair. Well, deep conditioning my hair. I wanted to show you the consistency of the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. It's like... This is it all over my hair. I do have some heat damage from having a leave out. As you can see some, you see those stray pieces right there. And I would have to chop, chop. But I'm not about to chop. I'm just not gonna deal with the chopping off every time I have heat damage. I'm just let it grow out trim a little as I go along it is what it is it's here I can't show okay good morning y'all it is Tuesday February 20th making my breakfast I made oatmeal today it's like seven o'clock in the morning too so I made oatmeal I'm gonna eat that on the way I had the scarf on as usual with a roller in my hair because my hair's in a ponytail and I'm trying to set it but uh anyways um i'm packing my lunch i'm having a healthy choice meal oh and back to uh when i was trying to walk so this weekend i washed my hair took out my weave and i was going to try the blueberry bliss i tried it i didn't like how much my hair shrunk it looked like i had no hair and i'm not at a comfortable length where I like my washing goes right now so I ended up washing my hair again after I put in the blueberry bliss curl definer and then I flat ironed and yeah I blew it out and flat ironed it so yesterday I wore my hair down but I didn't even like that really I wasn't really in love but yeah my hair is in a ponytail and I'm just curling my ponytail end so it had like a bump but um yeah I guess I'll see y'all later scarf my hair is nice and sleek and my ponytail has like a bump or whatever I should comb it but on the way to work I like to listen to was a 94.5 and it's called second date update with um young jock is that his name jock shorty shorty comedian the comedian shorty shorty and somebody mo or low i don't know if y'all live in atlanta do y'all watch i mean not watch do y'all listen to that radio segment 
It's on 94.1 and it comes on about 7.20 in the morning. It is so funny. So basically, the show is basically about how uh, people go on dates and they thought it went well, but the date is over. They try to hit, hit up the person, but the person's not really responding. They're dodging their calls, their text messages, everything. So they call that radio station to have them call that person to figure out why they stopped calling or picking up that phone call. So today, the segment was basically um, about this guy that was calling for this girl, saying it was a perfect day. Um, he opened the door for her. He paid for her food. They went to go see Black Panther. Um, and he said, I don't know why she's not answering my phone calls or my text messages. So, young, um, young Jock calls the girl and be like, okay, so what's up? How come you're not hitting him up? And she was like, no. Because when we went to Black Panther, homeboy tried to take out his phone and record Black Panther to bootleg it. And she said, he embarrassed me. I was... And they were basically, you know, shitting on him, on him for doing that. Now, me, if somebody did that to me, I would be a little heated too because that's just disrespectful. Black Panther is like, you know, one of the, it is the first black superhero movie and it's a, a, a Marvel movie. I love Marvel comic movies. So, you know, it's doing really good with their ratings and you know people going to see it on the first show night and everything so that i think that's really disrespectful and it's embarrassing as hell to have your date trying to bootleg a damn movie while you next to them what would you do what would y'all do would y'all seriously you know be like okay the date is over i'm not even gonna bother with that dude or continue the date and just be like eh, i can get over it everything else was great what would y'all do? Cause I don't. Know. Um, but uh, I seriously think I wouldn't be able to handle it. I think that it just made me lose so much respect for you. But I haven't seen. I haven't gone seen. I haven't gone to see uh, Black Panther yet. I do want to see it this weekend. It all depends on how I feel. But I probably will go see it this weekend. I'm not gonna have time to do it during the week so probably that'll be a little me time and go see Black Panther um but it's supposed to be really it's supposed to be really nice I think in the 70s in Atlanta so I'm hoping that it's a so I haven't day. vlogged all week well for the most of the week Robert's taking out London's hair hi London Hi, Grandma. I put a happy face over you. <laughs> Anyways, they a little camera shy. But drop down in the comments below who saw Black Panther. Because I saw Black Panther last night in 3D and it was actually pretty good. I wasn't that. I mean, I was excited, but not that excited. But I was like, okay. But it was pretty good. Y'all should check it out. I saw it in 3D. In the audience, the generals, a lot of diversity are mostly African Americans. Let me know. Were they dressed up in like the linens and stuff? Like no, no African my, tribal my, wear. Well, you know, mine was 3D, so that was a bougie. Oh yeah. <laughs> there was barely yeah, anybody yeah. there. Yeah. If I went to go see the regular, it, pro so, it probably would have been packed. Right here. But I, since I saw the 3D, there was like maybe one or two Caucasians and. Mostly black, but it wasn't really that many people in the green theater.